Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be switching from the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra that I've been using for almost two months now to another smartphone. Now, I do want to let you know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has been the best phone I've used in my lifetime. And at this point, among all the common smartphones in this form factor, it is top of the line. But there is another phone that I have to switch to test it out and see if I want to stay with the other phone or go back to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So that smartphone is also another Samsung phone. It is the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 that was just recently released and it's actually an impressive package. Uh, it does have its shortcomings compared to a standard form factor smartphone such as it doesn't have water resistance. This is IP68 rated. This one, if it falls into water, uh, accidental splash of water, it could get damaged. So that's a problem, but regardless, it is such an amazing uh, leap in tech. I want to give it a try. Now, I did not want to do that with Samsung Galaxy Fold 1 because I wasn't too impressed. But this one with the large screen on the top, with the elimination of the notch in the interior screen, and just having that hole punch cutout, and the overall improvements, really wants me to give it a try. So I am gonna be switching over to this phone. And let me tell you in this video, what are my expectations of the Fold 2? What am I looking to replace with this phone? Because it clearly is more than just a phone. And of course it's very expensive, so it better give me more value than a regular $1,000 phone. So obviously my switch uh, to the Fold 2 is gonna be temporary. I'm gonna use it for a week, maybe two weeks. If at the end it meets my expectations, I'm going to switch it to it permanently. Uh, but if it doesn't, I'll go right back to my Note 20 Ultra, which is my current primary choice of smartphone. So let's quickly talk about the Fold and my expectations of it. So first and foremost, this is a $2,000 product, okay? So in my opinion, it's a two-in-one type of product. It's not just a uh, smartphone, it is a smartphone slash a tablet. So when I dive into my experiment of using this phone uh, on a daily basis, I am gonna be using it as a phone and a tablet, okay? So the small screen I'm gonna be using for phone calls, text messages, quick notification checkups. Maybe if I wanna watch a five-minute video, I can watch it on this screen. Now remember, the outer screen is only 60 hertz. Now, I am spoiled with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm used to 120 hertz, and I do know that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 uh, on the inside has a 7.6 inch 120 hertz refresh rate display. So I will be using that most likely for media consumption, for browsing the web, for research, sometimes a little bit writing scripting on this phone, which I normally do on my tablets. So definitely uh, the Samsung Fold is gonna replace my phone, my primary Samsung phone, and also my primary tablet, which is an iPad. So I'm gonna be using this as a phone plus tablet. Let's see if it can fill both those with its capabilities. And of course, especially at a $2,000 price tag, I expect it to. If this was just a phone with a smaller screen, I could not even take this product seriously at that price point, but because it does offer a phone on the outside and a tablet on the inside, and also a hybrid use of both, uh, it is something to consider for $2,000. Now, I will let you know when it comes to build quality, Samsung has done a great job. Going from the Note 20 Ultra to the Fold 2, uh, there is no loss in build quality. I especially like the matte bronze finish on this phone. It does not attract fingerprints. And on the edges, it does have this brushed aluminum finish that makes it look even more expensive. Certainly feels like one of the most expensive and premium smartphones I have ever held in my hand. And also one thing that does interest me with this phone is there's some weird ways to watch movies on this phone. I can watch a movie on the ultra screen using the phone as its own stand in a fairly uh, large display. And I can also use it in the unfolded mode by giving it a small fold and let it just stand on its own legs. And I can watch a movie in this position or watch a video in this position, provided I don't wanna go, go full screen. Uh, this can be very useful in the morning. I consistently watch 
uh, news when I'm having my breakfast. So this seems to be a nice form factor for using the phone as its own kickstand. The other thing that I'm highly interested in doing is to use the phone for its multitasking capabilities. Now you do know that the phone gives you a three-way split screen multitasking. I can have a calculator, a website, and some numbers on there and do some calculations or whatever. There are so many combinations in which you can actually multitask. Now, is it gonna be, the problem is, is the 7.6 inch screen going to be enough? Is it gonna match a tablet? Because the tablet that I use currently is 11 inch on which I do multitask. This is gonna be 7.6 inches. Let's see how well I can see things. And of course, I'll give you updates on all this stuff later uh, when I make an update video on whether I'm staying with it or giving, giving it up and going back to the uh, Note 20 Ultra. So multitasking, definitely something I'm gonna looking into. And also I wanna try this uh, folded camera mode. Can I use it professionally uh, to film stuff? So when you fold the phone, the camera app gives you a new interface. You get the preview window separate, you get the viewfinder separate and you get the control separate. I wanna see if I can use that in real life because I do use my smartphones, my primary smartphones, other smartphones to shoot B-roll. Let's see if this is gonna come handy in any specific situation. I certainly wanna uh, concentrate on the folding capabilities of the phone and not just use it as a smartphone. Cause look, if I was to use this as a phone, it's very easy, it can be used phone calls, text messages, uh, browsing the web on the small screen. It's all doable, but it's still 60 hertz, but I wanna use it at its full capacity. Otherwise, it's not worth it for me to have a product this expensive that I'm not using at its full capacity. One more thing that does bother me is the fingerprint sensor. Now, it's a capacitive fingerprint sensor on the outside of the display. Now, the problem is when I put this phone in my pocket, uh, sometimes I reach it, okay? I've, I've not been using this as a daily driver, but I, I've been using it on and off. But I reach into my pockets and my fingers just keep hitting the fingerprint sensor. So it doesn't unlock it for some reason because it could be my other fingers. And what happens is the phone locks out. After five tries, it locks out. So when I do pull this out, out of my pocket, uh, it's already locked. It says, phone has been locked, five attempts have been reached use your pin number, okay? So that's kind of an inconvenience. I wanna see if that's gonna be a real problem when I use it on a daily basis. I'm assuming it might be, because even not using it as a daily driver, it came, that happened a lot of times. So we'll see. It doesn't have the S Pen. The Note 20 Ultra has the S Pen. Of course, it's something I use all the time. Some people don't, I do, I love the S Pen. But again, it's not like I can live without it. So we'll see if all the positives on this phone can replace what it actually misses. So that's basically what this video is all about. The fact that I'm switching from the Note 20 Ultra to the Fold 2, it's gonna be an experiment for a whole week. This is a very exciting product to own on a daily basis. I'm sure some of you guys have it and love it and are mesmerized by it, but it does have its shortcomings. No water resistance in the case of Note 20 Ultra comparison, doesn't have an S Pen. And of course, there is a little problem that a lot of people don't talk about. Uh, it's the crease in the middle. Now that crease is always gonna be there, okay? I wanna see if I can get used to it. Maybe I can't, okay? I am a very particular guy. Uh, if something bothers me, I just can't use it anymore. So we'll see if that crease is gonna be a problem. Uh, people say that it disappears, it doesn't. I've been watching videos with it. Just a slight bend, just a slight bend and you can see it. Sometimes, if the brightness on the phone is not high enough, you'll still see it at all times. If you're using dark mode over the regular white mode, you'll still see the crease at all times. If you're watching a video that's dark, it's a scary movie, dark scenes, you are gonna see the crease at all times. So we'll see if that is something I can live with or not, because these things do bother me. And I understand it's a fairly new product, so it's gonna be there, uh, but you know, it's all gonna be up to my personal preference or your personal preference when it comes to the crease. Can you handle it? Can I handle it? I'll let you guys know. But a quick summary, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend that this $2,000 phone uh, is gonna be two in one product, a phone and a tablet. For most of my small things like making phone calls, responding to text messages, I wanna use the small screen and the small keyboard. Uh, but most of the other things I wanna unfold it 
and see that full screen and see what it does for me. And I will give you guys an update in a couple weeks, either with a brand new video or just maybe just make an update on, on a post Twitter, okay? So uh, stay tuned. And of course, just to make sure I'm not gonna stop making any videos on the Note 20 Ultra, those are continually gonna be pumped out as usual. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.